Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another interesting session on dictionary override. So please watch my videos till the end for complete information. Alright, so let's move to our personal developer instance and then I will explain you what is dictionary override. So dictionary override uh, provide the avail uh, ability to define a field on an extended table differently from the field of the parent table. So for an example, we have incident table and a task table. So task table is the parent of incident table. So what will happen? All the fields from the parent will be inherited to the child table like incident. So suppose we are having a field like assignment group, category. So these are fields are coming from task, task table. Right. So suppose we want to override its behavior for that purpose, dictionary override come in place. So what all things this dictionary override does is like uh, it will uh, change the behavior for reference qualifier, dictionary uh, default values, uh, dictionary attributes, calculations, field dependencies and mandatory and read only status. All right, so these all things uh, which can be done using dictionary override. So I will show you how we you can override the dictionary uh, for a particular field that is extending from other table. All right, so let's move uh, to our incident table. You can see this is my incident table and let me open one of the incident. And now you can see this is the incident uh, form. Now let us go to our configure dictionary. So these are the dictionary entries and now what I will do is like I will try to check dictionary override for a state field. So configure dictionary. Let me change the scope to global first. And now you can see this is the task table entry coming from task table, but this uh, field is displaying on incident table. So we can change the behavior on incident table for this particular state field. Currently you can see there are 10 dictionary override written for this particular field uh, coming from task. So suppose let me uh, see what all overrides created for incident. So this is the dictionary override. So here you can see the attributes like close states equal to this default bug state. These all attributes are written. All right. So it, these are the override attributes for a state field. So you can override the default value and we can define some default value. Override calculation. We can do the override calculation also override mandatory we can make this field as mandatory uh, by default and similarly uh, for read only you can make it as uh, read only all right so you can watch override the display value also and as well as you can override the dependent dependency here and as well as you can override the reference qualifier if you have any so suppose uh, let me try to change something. Let me try to do override mandatory and mandatory as check. So now I will update this field, update this field dictionary entry and see what will happen. So now you can see this field is re, uh, mandatory. All right. Now if I open the dictionary for this state, you will see this this field is not set mandatory on task table. We have dictionary override for incident table and under incident table we have mark, marked this field as mandatory. 
override mandatory and mandatory is checked all right so this is the dictionary override uh, which i wanted to explain you uh, how you can manipulate a specific field if that field is coming from any parent table all right so please provide your comments if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it